Hello world, my name is Vladimir and I'm a lead developer for InfiniSpan Admin Console. In this video we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to add a new cache to an existing cache container running on an InfiniSpan cluster. First of all, if you're not familiar with the concept of a cache container, it's rather simple. As the name implies, cache container is a logical grouping of caches. These caches belonging to the same cache container share the container services and configurations. Uh, like threading in JGroups transport, security settings, deployments, cache configuration templates, and so on. All right, in order to add a new cache, we will go first to the uh, cache container page. And we're going to select the Add Cache uh, card, which is uh, placed right next to all of the existing caches that are running in this uh, cache container. After we invoke Add Cache, we're presented with the model dialog where we select the uh, base configuration for our cache. Um, so let's select memory bounded template for our uh, cache and we'll call it test mem. We are also given an option to edit the base configuration but in this case let's just simply create a cache from the existing cache template. Click on create cache, uh, we confirm and the new cache is up and running in the cache container. If we go back to the add cache option, uh, let's just uh, select again another memory bounded cache and let's call it test mem, uh, test mem2 and we'll edit the base configuration in this case. When we select Edit Base Configuration, we are taken directly to the uh, Create Cache uh, Configuration screen where we can uh, select, uh, let's say, we can either uh, define uh, any of the um, configuration sections that are listed in the navigational tabs on the left-hand side. Let's just simply um, change the um, remote timeout to from a default of 15,000 to 20,000. Okay, we just create, uh, click create and confirm. And in this case, our new cache thisMem2 is up and running. Of course, the template will stay unchanged. Well, the instance of the cache container configuration is copied for the thisMem2 and we edited that copy uh, and use it for, for the configuration of this particular cache. 